Hey, how's it going guys? This is Roy Slapped and I'm here with a brand new video. So basically, I if you watch my other survival series, I am in a competition with somebody and we're doing um, a competition on who can build the best base in survival. But as you can see, I really haven't worked on it too much and I pretty much have nothing and from the, <laughs> the pictures I've seen of his base, he has a lot more done than me, so I don't know if I'm going to win this. I have until tomorrow to finish this base, and it's just not looking good for me. But we'll see if I can win it. I might be able to. I'm a pretty quick builder, so we'll see. But um, other than that, I also wanted to bring to attention, I guess some people's bases are being raided by so-called peacekeepers. I'm going to let you guys know right now that it's not the actual peacekeepers that are raiding the bases. bases. If it were, I would know about it. And if it were some of the recruits and I find out, then they're going to be kicked off the team. Because that is not what we stand for. So if your base is raided and there's like a peacekeeper symbol there, it probably was not us. I'm like 100% sure. And, um... If it was, and it was us, oh crap. Oh crap. I'm gonna die. Water. <laughs> that is not good. Why is that there? Um, but if it was us, then I'd probably make a video about it so you guys would know. Um, so, with that in mind, I just hope you guys think that we're not raiding your bases or taking your bases or something. But, um... If one of your bases were raided, and you do know who's uh, who did it, then let me know and I can kick that person off the team, or I can let you know if that person is on our team or not, because we are not here to raid random people. So this is pretty interesting. This is a picture one of my recruits actually took, and it says uh, members of the Peacekeepers. These guys are actually not on the Peacekeepers team. We did not... Uh, recruit them and they've never been on our team. Alright guys, so uh, this is basically what I have to make a base out of. So um, I think I'm just gonna go with the old time uh, pagoda that I make. <laughs> I think that's the easiest thing, easiest thing I'm going to be able to make in the short amount of time that I have. And I'll probably just make the downstairs look a little bit better. But let's see, this is spruce wood, so we'll make it out of spruce wood fences. Get the sticks. And um, yeah, I'll just start doing it and I'll fill you in a little bit when I get a little bit farther. I'm probably not going to make a five story one. It will probably be two stories, and I think that will give us enough uh, defense uh, at the top of our building, but I think I'm going to work more on the bottom base area, because that's probably more important. But if you look up here, basically I got this whole area right here to fill in, and then I should be good. Alright guys, so I just found this dog wandering over here. I have no idea how to get dogs to follow you or anything. I think you're supposed to give them a bone, right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a... Tame. Yeah. Now I have a pet dog. So he's supposed to follow me now, right? Oh yeah, look at that, I got a pet dog. What's up doggy? What should I name him? Oh crap, I hit my dog. I am so sorry doggy. I was meant to pet you. Okay, so will he follow me over here? Oh, look at that. Look at the little doggy. And a pig over here. Alright, so I don't know how to make him sit. I saw another video where they got the dog to sit. Come on, dog, it's getting night time. You need to go inside. Come on, doggy. 
You can make it. Oh, look at him. He waggles. He waggles when he gets wet. That's insane. Oh, look. He's right there. He's actually really good at following. Okay, so I could have him sit. Oh, and I'll just stay right there. That's cool. Let's have him come to my room. Oh, come on, doggy. Okay. Now sit. No, no. Come back here. Where's he going? Damn it, doggy. Sit. Oh my gosh. Let me close the door when he gets in here. Yes. Now, oh my goodness. Why is it not popping up when I want it to? No, don't jump on the bed. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. I want... Okay, doggy. Get off my bed. No. No. Sit. Why does it not pop up? Okay, sit. Good doggy. Stay there. <laughs> okay, let's go work on the house. What's up, guys? So, uh, it actually took almost all day, but I finally finished. Um, I had to mine a lot of uh, cobblestone and change it into bricks. And then I also got the, the nether bricks from the nether fortress, so that was a lot easier. That that didn't take nearly as much time. But um, I made this little pagoda right in the middle of this water, and it's actually a pretty good defensive technique, just because if uh, mobs are trying to get over into my building, they'll be um, really slow in the water, and I can actually go to a higher floor on the pagoda and just snipe them with my bow. So it will be hard for them to even get to the pagoda. Uh, I don't have anything in the building yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm trying to work more on the um, bottom floor before tomorrow, so it, it looks somewhat decent. But yeah, see, I could just go up here and kill the monsters as they're trying to swim over very slowly. So um, I thought that was a pretty good defensive technique. But uh, I've also been working on the stairs to make it a little bit nicer. Um, it looks a lot different than from before. So there's actually a staircase now that you can go all the way down and then into this main room. So um, I'm trying to work on this main room right now and make it look somewhat cleaner than it actually is. And then if I have time, I'll try to be going down to this room, make like making a nice pathway and then the staircase and make this room look a lot better as well. But I'm not even sure if I'm going to have enough time for that because... Uh, the competition's almost over. But um, another thing I did was I made this room look a little bit nicer and I put some more um, furnaces there because I had a lot of cobblestone that I needed to change into stone. Um, that building took a lot more um, stone than I thought it would. So, yeah, we got a lot of stone left over, which is nice, I guess but um, we don't really need need that many. And then, um, let's see. Over here, I have a chicken farm. So now we can make pumpkin pies with eggs. So we just take the eggs. Oh, I don't have enough room. Um, let me put some of this in there. Actually, put this in there. I don't need that. So let's take the eggs and let's go make some of our first pumpkin pies. We also need sugar, I believe. Dang it, wrong chest. Alright, so that's pretty good. Um, eight eggs. We're gonna need sugar. And we're gonna need some pumpkins. This is my first pumpkin pie in the entire game.
sweet. Okay. Now we have eight pumpkin pies. That's going to help a lot. That's a lot better than this melon farming. See, we still got a lot of melons, but um, now that we can make pumpkin pies, that's, that's going to help so much. That is probably one of the best ideas I had. So, um, yeah, we got that. Fully functional pumpkin pie farm. And, um, yeah, the rest of the base looks like like crap, but I'm working on it, so eventually it will look better. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it there, and I'm going to end the episode. So, um, oh yeah, and say bye to my little doggy. Bye, doggy. Um, we'll see you guys later, and have a good night, guys. Peace.